That's good, that's good, that's good. Just give us a little overview of your wide receivers. Two well, weeks in the camp. Two weeks in the camp, they're progressing nicely. Not a finished product yet, but I like what I see out there. All the guys are playing hard, and it's a healthy competition. They know uh, we lose, we lost three guys, and then everybody's fighting, uh, trying to jockey for position to fill those the voids. What have you seen out of uh, Theo Howard so far? Uh, uh, pleasantly surprised for him. I mean, he, he has more book first and more speed, and more quickness than I, uh, I saw on film. And uh, both he, he and um, uh, Felton, they validate what we've seen on film. How is uh, Ish's transition going? Very well. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with Ish. Um, he brings that uh, defensive mentality to the offensive side of the ball. All right, he's got a little uh, big time swag, a lot of arrogance, athletic arrogance. That's what I like to call it. Um, he, he refuses to lose, and I love what I see out there on Ish. How did that decision come about? I just I asked him. I said, uh, "Did you want to?" Break up passes, or do you want to strike up the band? He said, I want to strike up the band, coach. <laughs> What's the, uh, the advantage of, of having not, you don't have much experience. What's the advantage of having a dozen guys in the roster playing for those positions? Well, uh, hopefully no, nobody uh, goes down, but you, at every spot you need depth, all right? And you need uh, competition to make other people better. So that's what's happening right now with our group. We've got a lot of guys competing against each other and they're making each other better and they're just rising and rising. Has right. Meet, uh, Meet approached you about taking Steven Johnson? Come on, you know Meet has stuff, <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and every now and then, Meet gets in uh, SJ's uh, three year. He said, uh, why don't you come over there? One, do, a, do a rep of one-on-ones, just a one rep. See how you like it. I said, all right, he's sweet talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> Today, didn't he? Oh yeah, he did. Right? I see. I, I see the little little sneaky moves that he does. <laughs> but I don't blame him because that's a that's a big time athlete. He could he could be uh, productive on either side of the ball. But I'm gonna do my darnest to keep him on the offensive side of the ball. He says you owe him for Ish. You're <laughs> 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 laying out his plan. He said he's gonna keep that in his back pocket. Yeah, he, yeah, he, that, that's his little. A little feather in his, uh, in his hat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you talked about how impressive Felton has been. What have you seen from him and what kind of role have you seen him play? Well, I didn't know that he was that. Well, I knew he was explosive, but seeing him uh, <clears throat> on offense at the slot position, because he played running back in high school, but seeing him on, at the slot position, I didn't think he would be that polished uh, of a receiver, but uh, he has big time explosion. He's wiry strong. He doesn't get rerouted, and all he needs is. I think it's know-how. Uh, the first couple of days, he and Theo, I, I didn't want to tell him nothing. I didn't want to show him any techniques or anything. I just wanted to see their athletic ability, and both of them impressed me with the athletic ability that they had. Coach, you mentioned that Theo and Felton have been a really nice surprise. How do you think Diamond Lee will compliment them when he comes in? Well, Dominique, he's coming in as a quarterback first, so uh, uh, hopefully he'll be able to stay at the quarterback position. Question about any other guys? How about uh, last week? The guys that have been here last oh, well, week, Van Dyke. Well, if, I don't want to miss out on any guys, but uh, lastly, uh, he's, he's he's starting to be a little more consistent. All right, that's what I'm uh, seeing in him. Uh, last year, he would have up and downs, but now he's trying to be more consistent. He's making a conscious effort of playing more consistently and doing what he's coached and, and, and trying to make a conscious effort to catch the ball at a high level. Alex Van Dyke is playing very well. And as you know, you don't hear me calling him Bambi anymore. He's big buck now. So. <laughs> Kenny Walker, what have you thought of him? Kenny Walker probably is having the most impressive uh, camp right now. Uh, he's catching the ball very, very well. Uh, he's running great routes. Um, what I'm trying to find out in my group is who's going to lead it, who's going to take over for Jordan Payton, uh, who's going to get the guys going. Uh, can, can I find a guy that's can uh, make the money catch on third and nine, third and eight. I'm trying to find that guy. I want to see who steps up. That's massive. He's doing very well. Uh, all those guys had a, they're having a great camp, man. It's, it's a nice competition out there. Are you working with Roberts at all? Uh, Austin is at a tight end now. And I mean, he's like, Rip could speak on that, but just yeah, little, I see. I've asked him, but I thought he was like, you were flexing around. No, no. Uh, he's he's full time with Rip. 
you see as the leading candidate to take that role? You were talking about the third and nine guy that had yeah. Jordan Bay. Tell him to tell. They have to show me. All right, now, none's going to be given to them, and, and, and uh, playing time is going to be earned. And uh, the most consistent, uh, the guy who plays at the highest level, who's the most considered assistant, is the one going to be the guys that play. And hopefully all of them can do those things. How key is it for Theo to be in in spring to compete for potentially doing that? Well, it, 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 it is very good for Theo to be here in the spring just to feel the speed of the game and see the physicality of the game and not see it in the in the fall, but he's seeing it right now. So uh, when uh, spring ball is over, he'll find out some of the things that he needs to work on. Isn't that leadership really looking for someone who's more lead by example or uh, uh, Any way that they can lead, all right? Some people lead in different ways, but hey, if you can uh, lead by example and, and practice hard and make plays and say, this is, you guys follow me. I'm the leader, follow what I do, um, so be it. But if I got to get a raw raw, I don't want a raw raw guy that can't make plays. <laughs>